Luke and Jake here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we are going to one of the remotest communities on the East Coast. We're going to Tangier Island. It's about a one hour, 45 minute jog across the Chesapeake Bay. And from there, we're gonna explore the town and then get in our kayak and we're gonna kayak to a chain of uninhabited islands. We're gonna be doing some remote beach camping, surf fishing, and just having some great adventures. You excited, buddy? Yeah. So we're on Tangier Island right now, but we're not gonna be camping here. We're gonna launch the kayak and head out to some of the uninhabited islands that are close by. And that's where we're gonna camp and fish. And tomorrow when we come back to Tangier, we're gonna meet up with my wife and Tommy and Nathan and my sister. And then we're gonna explore the island a little bit and show you what's to be seen around here. What do you say, Jacob, should we launch the kayak? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <sighs> The main industry here on Tangier Island is fishing for blue crabs. And these little sheds you see here on the docks, those are for peeler crabs. When you catch a crab that's about to shed its shell, then you put them in that shed and they have these tanks there and they watch them. And once they shed their shell and become peelers, then they go and they sell them at a higher price as peeler crabs. So this is the peeler crab capital of the world right here. Peeler crabs are more expensive because you can eat the whole crab. You just take this soft gummy crab, fry it up in a pan and it is very nice. The water around here is really deceptive. Right now, we're in about 14 inches of water. Go back about 20 feet back there, it's 8, 10 feet of water. That's them! Little tiny birds. Yeah, little tiny birds on the beach. Look, there's a beach up there. Should we go explore it? Caps, ready on it. Well, this is the first uninhabited island we've come across, so we're gonna get out and do a little exploring and beach combing. Did you find something? Yeah. What'd you find? It's yeah. It's a spool. Cat? Oh, so selfie? That's a buoy. It's a little, there's a little bowl. Bowl? Old crab pot. Look at this. The chair. Yeah, look at that big old feather. There's a blue crab shell. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of that bird print. Don't get wet, Jacob. It's a baby crab. Well, Jake, you want to keep on exploring? Here's another deserted beach. You want to go check out that beach, Jacob? Oh uh, yeah. All right, and let's do it. There might be a scary cab on the beach. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Is it? Wait, this is not styrofoam. Look at this. There's there's words on this. I think this is like an old tombstone. Man, that's white marble. Yeah, I think that's a tombstone, bud. It says, in loving memory of Polly Parks, October 19, 1876, died December 4th, 1913. Life, 37 years. Nellie A., beloved daughter, 
You know, from the kayak, those just look like washed up pieces of styrofoam, but they're headstones. I can see some old pilings there, like an old dock or something. Yeah, there's lots of signs of old abandoned equipment. Check it out, there's an electric motor of some sort. The old pulley. My cell phone. I know what that is, that's leaf spring. That's part of the suspension system of a car. I ain't leaving, buddy. A crab. Oh, a crab. There you go, grab his big claw, then he can't get you. You got him? Yeah. You're a crab catcher. What happened there? Well, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Look at that mosquito did to you. Those mosquitoes are attracted to those sweet little cheeks. Look at this. Feels like aluminum. It's not heavy enough for lead or steel. Yeah, that's some garbage. Let's maybe go take that and we'll get rid of that. Well, Jacob, do you want to try to catch a fish? Yeah. Well, this looks as good a place as any to set up our tent. We're going to see if we can't gather enough driftwood to maybe make a fire tonight. And also, we're going to try to do a little fishing. Oh, are you collecting firewood too, Jacob? Yeah. Well, me and the fish are going to be eating the same thing today. I brought a bag of shrimp uh, for some jambalaya tonight, and it's also going to be my bait. We could literally catch anything. All fish love to eat shrimp. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that, I got a fish already. Why? Well, that rod wasn't in the water two minutes and all of a sudden I got a massive hit. I had a fish on and I was reeling it in and it's gotten stuck. So we're gonna take the kayak out and see if we can't free it. We're gonna go get that fish. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, the leader of my hook is shredded to pieces. Either something with very sharp teeth got it or it rubbed it on an oyster bed. Both are real possibilities, but bluefish and of course sharks have pretty sharp teeth. So might've been either one of those. Let's see how much water are we in? Yeah, we're only in about three feet of water. Oh, yeah. Got another fish. What do we got? That's a red fish right there. Little red drum. Both hands, both hands. Okay, I have no idea what the regs are for these. So I'm gonna put him back until I figure out whether they're legal or not. There we go. Are you are you sad I let the fish go? Yeah. Do you know why I let the fish go? Why? Well, they have to be 18 inches long to keep them. And that one was about 17 inches, so he wasn't long enough. We have to let him go. Let's go get some milk, okay? Like this. Like this? Here, sit down. Okay? Is that nice? Hard to let fish go when you haven't had any milk. You know, I can't even put this rod in the rod holder. They've been hitting it too fast. Man, they're just smacking this as soon as it hits the water. Yeah, this one's just a hair smaller. Beautiful fish. There we go. Oh, I think the biggest one we caught was that first one. You feeling better, bud? Yeah, and I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Well, then let's get you some food, okay? All right, guys, we're gonna make some seafood jambalaya here, and I've got this Cajun spicy jambalaya mix I picked up in Louisiana. Celery, peppers, onions.
You want me to get your sleeping bag? <laughs> you having fun on this trip, buddy? Yeah. Good. Good weather, good fishing, good food. This is a good camp out. Mm. Hey, Jake, should we get a fire? <laughs> we need to make a marshmallow stick here. Jacob tripped and scratched his leg pretty bad. Does that hurt? Yeah. Okay. You know cookies help? Yeah. These are pumpkin cookies. Here. Take one of these. Hey, Jacob, you feeling better? Oh. Jacob's having a good time. He seemed to calm down about his leg. And uh, just chucked the rod out. And uh, we'll see if we can't pick up some more fish. The wind's kicking up, so it's hard to tell. But I think I've been getting a lot of nibbles. The chance that maybe something small has moved in and it's stealing my bait. All right, we're gonna test my theory. I put on a smaller hook and we'll see if we catch anything. Man, I'm snagged again. Found out what's stealing my bait. Nice red fish. Nice little striped bass. Holy mackerel, the fishing's good. I'm getting a fish every three to five minutes now. Woo, I just hooked into something big, but it drug me across an oyster bed and broke my line. So I think I'm done fishing for tonight. Hot chocolate. And look what else we have. Oh yeah, here we go. You cozy? Yeah. Well, it's pretty good I stopped fishing when I did because it's raining pretty good now, but it's bedtime. I'm gonna get Jacob to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Well, it's kind of interesting night last night. We had a lot of wind and rain and a big lightning storm came over and just lit the tent up. It was, it was pretty cool. But I want to do some more fishing, man. It was awesome action last night. So I've got one more weight in my bag. I say we use it and see if we can't catch something. Oh, well, darn it, my hook stuck again. Hey. Check it out. There we go. Whew, starting to rain. Let's get back to shore. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's raining. I got some fun breakfast for you. It's a cereal. Do you like it? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and, and put some more bait on the fishing rod, okay? Oh, starting to rain pretty good again, so I think I'm gonna watch my pull from inside the tent. Yeah, we're gonna have some cereal. Ah, whew. There we go, nice blue fish. Well, the rain finally let up enough where I think I can pack up the tent and sleeping bags and everything. But we got to get back to Tangier Island because the ferry is going to be arriving soon. And I'm going to be meeting my wife and my two other children and my sister. And we are going to go explore the island of Tangier next. All right, Jake, you ready to go see mom and explore the island? Well, our timing's pretty good. I can see the ferry with my family on it.
You see mama? There's mama! See it? <laughs> Don't worry buddy. She's just gonna be right at the dock. Oh, Jacob's not happy about mama sailing away. Ooh, he's not happy. Hey guys. Somebody was not happy when the ship sailed. <laughs> Hi, bud, yeah. There's a crab in your boat? That sounds about right. This will turn into the trip of finding the kayak. Hi, Miss. you, buddy. Awesome. All right, I got the kayak and all the gear stowed away on the boat. Becca's getting the kids changed, and I am sporting the height of fashion here. Let's go check out Tangier Island. <laughs> Stop resisting! Stop ah. resisting! <laughs> you have been sunscreened. So Tangier Island's not very big. It's only about three miles long by one mile wide, and uh, there's no cars on it. Walking through this neighborhood and a lot of the houses have tombstones and graves in the front yard. There's a lot of standing water here, so they've got elevated driveways. There you little blue crab right down there. Was fun. Ooh -hoo. Hey guys, did you have fun? Yeah! Awesome. Well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you want to see more adventures from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out our camping and adventure playlist. And don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.